What is going on YouTube? I have a reasonably exciting for you video for you today. We are gonna be pulling the engine off of a turbo aero. One of my former students who got his certificate is restoring a Piper Aero 3 and is asking me to help him overhaul the engine as he's never, never overhauled an engine before outside of class. So step one, we need to get the engine off and I'm gonna take you guys off the tripod and show you what I'm doing. So as always, make sure you stick around. So here it is, the Continental IO360, the propeller, sorry for the wind, I realize it's probably gonna mess up some of the audio. The propeller is also going to go out uh, for overhaul. Decent little engines, they also used them on the Mooney K models, of course the Arrows. Um, he is doing, like I said, a full restoration on this aircraft, so he's gonna get a brand new interior for it, new windows, he's gonna have it painted, and when he's done, he will have a brand new airplane. But right now, let's get the engine off. It took an eternity to wiggle this propeller out of the crankshaft. You'll hear me explain to the owner why here in just a second. <sighs> Not shaking. Almost there. There's two gal pins right here. Yes. Yeah. They have a tendency to rust. Okay. And as they rust, they don't kind of get You don't have an airplane, there's no chance. All right, it will. We have the propeller off. We're gonna start taking off the ignition harnesses, the baffling as much as we possibly can. And I will get back to y'all with a finished product. I'm not gonna bore you with a time lapse because my GoPro's not going into time lapse for whatever weird reason. But like I said, I'm gonna get all of this stuff off. We've already taken a medically dangerous amount of photos of everything so that we know how everything goes back together. And at this point, it's just get as much as we can off the engine so that it's as light as possible when we actually take it off. Okay, we are rocking right along here. I've gotten some of this stuff off. What I often will do is I'll take my hardware, pro tip, I'll take my hardware, and I'll put it back in the holes that I got it out of. That way I don't lose it. Yes, you can use a bag. A bag is obviously a perfect way to do it. I also like to label everything with nice little labels if I have the option. But if you do it that way, you won't lose any hardware and you won't misplace where it went. So I always put it back in the exact hole it came out of and then there's no confusion of where that bolt was, how many washers were on it, how long it was, all that kind of stuff. Cause sometimes you'll see that too, just like, you know, cars or motorcycles, you might have one bolt that's a little bit longer than the rest. And if you just threw them in the bag, you're not necessarily gonna know that when you put it back together. So anyways, like I said, rocking right along. I'll show y'all a little bit more here in a minute once we have some more disassembled and taken off. I don't really need to get all this stuff off to pull the engine out, but we're gonna overhaul it anyways. So I might as well take it off now. So I'm not trying to take it off while it's sitting on the crate. We are slowly but surely turning the engine into a pile of parts on the floor. Of course, the owner of the aircraft, like I said, former student of mine is here helping. That's Carl. Say hi, Carl. Um, still got some stuff to do on this other side, but we are moving right along. We're making really good progress. And like I always say, from a place of absolute humility, as humbly as I can phrase it, it's because I'm the best. Lots more good progress has been made. Sorry for the wind. Me and Carl are getting our butts whooped. I wanna give you a pro tip on a Piper though. Watch out for the 1130 seconds. They have a really nasty habit in random places of throwing 1130 seconds size nuts on. I don't know why Piper does that. 
but they did do that in this uh, period, this time frame, this, this age of Piper, I don't know, whatever. Pizza is on the way, so we are gonna stop and take a break, get a bite to eat, and then probably immediately after lunch, we're gonna push the, uh, pull the engine off. The lunch is running behind schedule though, it's like one o'clock, so we're both starving. Anyways, I'll see y'all then. I mean, it either goes really good or really bad. I did a thing. Again, that's kind of the reason behind my channel. But anyways, that's gonna do it all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And as always, go build something and be easy.